listen. There'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. Welcome to the Coach's Keys to Victory for Randa Marcos versus Alexa Grazo. Okay, sit back, relax, and listen. Get you something to drink because I'm going to break down pretty much what these two fighters have to do to win the fight. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and start with Randa Marcos. Here goes. Before the comma, walk and drama, we'll open arms, cold boy, peep the lineup. I'm talking tango and cash, hit the bank, no mask, out the freezer, cold cash, put Grammy winners in calves. Never happened twice, gotta take a chance, never end, never start. Got cars that never start. No plan B, can't sleep, my mind racing brown paper, put it on the ground. Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. Very tough challenger. Or competitor in this case, sorry, there are no challenges. She's very tough. And this is not gonna be a walk in the park for Alexa Grazo. And it still amazes me that, you know, a lot of people actually believe that Alexa Grazo, this is gonna be an easy victory. <laughs> Boy, these people don't know anything about fighting. Not only does Randa Marcos have a granite stin I mean a, a granite steel chin. She's got a granite steel chin. But she's got an undying will that she wears on an opponent physically and mentally. Randa, Quiet Storm, Marcos. Number one is going to be the most important thing for Randa Marcos. She's going to have to apply that pressure very early to Alexa Grazo. She can't let Alexa sit back and think on how to pick her apart. Because that's what will happen. If she sits back and if she tries to go in a one-on-one -on -one battle, a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with Alexa Grazo, she's not going to win. Alexa is definitely a far better striker. Randa, she's got to get in Alexa's chest and apply that pressure. Let's go to step two. One of Randa's, I think probably the best punch in her arsenal is the overhand right. Now how she would do that, Alexa Grazo, she showed that in a Felice Herrick fight that she's definitely susceptible to catching her right hand just as Randa is. Alexa isn't quite as bad with it, but Alexa can be caught with an overhand right. But what Randa is going to have to do, she's going to have to fake a jab to the body, a left jab. She's going to have to throw a sharp fake jab to the left body and then come back over top with an overhand right. And this probably will catch Alexa off guard because Alexa is going to prepare for what she thinks is a left jab going to the body. Okay. And Randa can also vary it up. Okay. Let's look at step three. Randa can also do this. Okay, Randa can also do a head feint, and if you guys don't know what a head feint is, what, what a fighter does is that they take their head and they dip the head in the, in the direction of a person's abdomen. And what that does is that will freeze, that, that'll freeze Alexa Grazo for a second to where she can come over top with her, power, her money shot, which is the overhand right. Okay, these two things will catch Alexa off guard, and, and she'll figure out that she'll be able to land these because Alexa is more of a defensive fighter. And Alexa is always looking to parry, or sometimes even try to step out of the way. But the jab or the head feint to the body, that's going to freeze Alexa, and Alexa will be open for the shot. Okay, and this will also, let's go to step four, okay? And step number four, okay, looking at steps two and three, Randa will have the opportunity to go to step four and close the distance. She needs to do this very quickly, okay? Again, she can't let Alexa stand back and just pot shot. She can't do that because if she do that, I mean, Alexa is going to eat her alive. Okay, Alexa is, to me, in my opinion, is the better all-around fighter, okay? But Randa is a veteran, and Alexa is still young. She's still wet behind the ears, so Randa can do some of these veteran tricks to catch Alexa off guard. But she needs to try to get the submission early in the fight because toward the end of the fight, I just don't think that a submission is going to be possible because Alexa Grazo has the cardio of a marathon runner. She's not going to gas out. However, Randa Marcos has a tendency to gas out later in the fight. Okay, she's going to have to close the distance and look for a takedown. Randa is very, very strong. She's very strong on her back. And we'll go to number five, okay? Number five, this is going to be one thing that people are going to like. Well, Coach, why would you say that? But I'm going to explain why, okay? Number five... Okay, number five, pull Alexa into her foreguard 
and transition into an arm bar okay now to do this she's gonna have to catch Alexa throwing shots down at her from her full guard position but then she's gonna get an opening she's gonna have to time Alexa hurry up and scramble transition over to the arm and submit her using an arm bar Randa Marcos is very underrated when it comes to being on the back okay she's very good on her back Randa Marcos is extremely good at actually reversing situations while she's on her back so that's gonna be no problem if she pulls Alexa into a full guard Alexa she probably very well can submit because Randa is a submission specialist okay guys let's go to the keys to victory for the lone wolf Alexa Grazo Alexa Grazo the lone wolf this girl don't let that smile and don't let her humble personality fool you this girl is a complete beast when she gets into the octagon her hands are lethal her feet are lethal her submissions are lethal and Alexa Grazo is not one that you take lightly she's gonna come into this fight she's gonna have a chip on her shoulder she's gonna have a big chip on her shoulder she's been angry and frustrated at some of the backlash she got for losing against Felice Herrick she's very young but this girl is a complete all-around fighter and she's very skilled but the one thing that's gonna hinder her or that's gonna prepare her to stardom is her confidence let's talk about the keys to victory for Alexa Grazo the wolf okay number one Alexa is gonna have to keep this fight in the center of the octagon the reason why she needs to do this because this is gonna play into her strengths okay and she will she will actually be able to pick Randa Marcos apart at a distance she gotta keep it in the center of the octagon if she gets her back against the cage advantage Marcos if Marcos can manage to get her to her back advantage Marcos Grazo has to do exactly what she needs to do in the center of that octagon and her output selection will definitely be higher and greater if she can maintain that fight in the center of the octagon alright let's go to step two for Alexa Grazo okay number two Alexa Grazo she is gonna have to let her hands go okay this is not the time to be gun shy this is not the time to be worried about if you're gonna get countered Randa Marcos let me tell you something she's not a better counter puncher than Alexa Grazo she's not a good counter puncher at all she's an okay and average counter puncher but she's not even fast enough to even complete a lot of the counters that she tries so in my opinion and in my opinion alone okay I think that Alexa needs to let those hands go and if she doesn't let those hands go ladies and gentlemen she's gonna be you know she's gonna have a definite problem with Randa Marcos the entire night okay she she must let her hands go and this is very very important okay Alexa has to do so um, and also too she'll learn that Randa will fall into a trap and Randa will definitely want to bang with Alexa Grazo that's just the way that is she'll want to bang she'll want to go and she'll want to bang with Alexa and if she bangs guess what advantage Alexa Grazo let's go to step three step three okay Alexa needs to really take advantage and exploit Randa Marcos her inability to move her head Randa Marcos is a sucker for right attacks for right side body attacks she's a sucker and she'll find out that, uh, that Randa Marcos will be easy to hit but here's something that could swing pretty much the ties in Alexa's favor I'm talking about with a brutal brutal kick first of all she needs to set Randa up she got to set up for a head kick by faking a leg kick now don't just throw a head kick to Randa's head because you know she's a veteran she's gonna block it more than likely she's gonna block that she's got to set Randa up by faking a leg kick Randa Marcos does not like low leg kicks she hates them she hates them with a passion that's where Alexa Grazo can actually flourish fake a leg kick throw a couple of leg kicks initially in the bout to catch Randa off guard and to keep Randa honest Randa will try to defend that leg kick because she doesn't like them she will def try to defend that leg kick and then Alexa Grazo can then go up top with a switch kick to the head advantage Grazo let's go to step four okay number four Alexa is gonna have to believe 
she's gonna have to have confidence and believe in her skill set she's gonna have to do this okay and you know I, I know Alexa sometimes with the mental thing when she takes enough hits you can stress Alexa out and Alexa will make mistakes Alexa's gotta learn how to stay calm when she gets hit this is the fight game you're gonna get hit you gonna get hit okay how she responds is gonna dictate what Randa does but she's got to believe in her confidence. She's got to believe that she is the better skilled fighter in the octagon tomorrow night. She's going to have to. Okay, Alexa Grazo is the better all-around fighter. But Randa Marcos is the smart veteran. Okay, and my coach used to always tell me, you don't have to be the most skillful, but if you're the most intelligent, you'll win a fight. And Randa Marcos can very well use her intelligence to win this fight. Alexa Grazo, she's got to believe and that's going to go back up to number two. Alexa, she got to let them hands go. She's got to let those hands go, but she has to believe that her skill set is better than Randa Marcos. Let's go to number five. Okay, and number five. Number five, you might say, Coach, why would you want Alexa Grazo to try to submit Randa Marcos? Randa Marcos, as a fight progresses, she's got a bad habit of taking a lot of damage, okay? Randa Marcos can absorb a lot of damage, okay? I mean, you saw that with Justine Kiss, uh, Kish. I mean, you saw her absorb a lot of damage when she fought Carla Esparza. And I thought that Carla Esparza outstruck her, which Esparza is not even a good striker. But Alexa Grazo is a phenomenal striker. Randa Marcos is going to take a lot of damage. Okay, she is. Yeah, especially if she can't get this fight to the ground, she's going to accumulate damage. And by the end rounds, the championship round, she's going to be exhausted. Randa Marcos is going to be exhausted, and she's going to go into that mode because, you know, she's going to try to land that lucky punch. That's what she does, okay? Randa Marcos is going to keep fighting to the end. She's going to wear that heart on her sleeve, but Alexa will have a chance to actually submit Randa Marcos. The submission of choice that Alexa Grazo needs to try, if she tries an armbar submission, that's going to be dangerous because that's Randa Marcos. That's the, that's the, that's the submission that she specializes in, that she excels in. If it were me, I would not try to do an armbar submission on Randa Marcos. The submission of choice that I would use is a guillotine choke. The reason why, because Randa is going to be gasping for air. She's going to try to recover. She's trying to hold on. You know, she's trying to make it through the round. Alexa needs to quickly close the distance between her and Randa. Okay, she needs to quickly get on that neck of Randa Marcos and crank that guillotine choke it'll be available because Randa rarely she don't move her head very much she don't move her head and she's gonna be tired and she's gonna be exhausted but that's what Alexa Grazo needs to do she can submit her but now if she try that crap in the, in, in the early rounds no she gonna end up getting submitted okay it'll be foolish to try to submit Randa Marcos when she's fresh no because Randa Marcos is good on her back Randa Marcos can reverse positions but if you get this girl tired, there won't be any reversing. There won't be any of that. Randa Marcos will be ready to submit. So both of these ladies, this is going to be a close fight, okay? If Alexa Grazo will just let her hands go and really, really enforce her skill set on Randa Marcos, it could be a short night. Alexa Grazo could win this fight easily. But we don't know which version of Alexa going to show up. But we do know what version of Randa Marcos is going to show up. And that's the one that's coming to get it. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.